hello guys if you're interested to see how i made these lovely pretty wraps watch this video to the end it's a very detailed tutorial and how to make these lovely caps so first let's get our fabric i folded it into two right side facing each other so i measured 16 by 16 so that means 16 width 16 inches with 16 inches length So now I'm, uh, I'm measuring my, I decided to use 15 now. So I'm measuring my 15.5 all around to form like a small arc. So I'm satisfied with my heart so I cut it out. So I cut the same thing for the Ankara and I sewed the down part together as you can see and I ironed it so you can see I sew it with half inch sewing allowance inside that's it so now we'll fold into two equal halves like this make it equal at the end like this so i'll mark from that certain part i'll mark one inch and quarter so from my um sewing point i marked a uh, one and quarter inch upwards on the certain part one and quarter in on the anchor part so and i notch Oops, I notched the wrong part. Okay, so I notched right here. Okay, so that's it. Make sure your notch does not go past the sewing. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you get it now. So now I'm turning it to the right side. And I end it. You can see what it looks like on the right part. And on the certain parts so. so now this is what we have so at the back so right here i measured i marked that side both sides then i'll sew one and quarter inch straight line right there at the back like that so this is it after sewing so now i'm marking new points 13 inches that will serve as my uh, elastic casing and the elastic that will be at the back so i already cut my elastic without stretching it this i have like a 5.75 inches actually i needed five inches but you know when i draw the elastic i need some small portion you know that will come out when i sew it down on both sides so that's why i have those little excess everything will make sense now so this is my safety pin that i'll be using to and uh, my elastic is one inch wide so this is my safety pin i'll use it to insert the elastic i left the rest of the space still open because 
it's easier for me if I do it this way. There are different methods that everyone prefers. But this way, trust me, it just works fine and everything comes out very neat and professional. But you can just go for the one that's easy for you. So this is it. After it, I make sure the elastic is not passing the line that I marked. So I pin down the elastic and I'll stitch it. See, I've stitched it on both sides. You see? You see how neat and stretchy that is. So now I'll continue my line. All around the cap my one and quarter inch line so it's soon you can see it all around the cap now everywhere is stitched so now this is the final stage for the main cap so from the top right edge I start gathering it like this. So this is it. Then I pick my needle and you sew it in place. You see how I gathered it? I started from top and like that. You check your inside to make sure you are not leaving any pieces behind everything is gathered in this secured knot <sighs> so that is it for the base of the cap so for the um, donut in front so how do you call it now you get a, a strip of fabric like a um, two inches wide and um, 37 inches long or 36 depending on how much fabric you have after sewing the uh, long strip i i stitch it i stitch the mouth in place i filled it up with um, foam to make it puffy and I, I start rolling it to form the, the donut on the head and you, you tack it up with your needle and thread just like this and put it in place then attach it to the cup. so this is what the finished look looks like thank you for watching